Hey, how's it going, everyone? Saints fan here, and welcome to this week's episode of the GTA 5 Q&A. We got some awesome questions. We actually have a bunch of questions, so I'm going to just, like, get through these as quick as possible. Hope you all are having a great Labor Day weekend. If you were doing anything, <laughs> just hanging out and chilling. If you do want to ask me a question for next week's episode, all you have to do is use the hashtag AskSaints on Twitter, and I'll see it. But... Hopping in to the first few. These are just some quick questions and, and some channel-related questions. So I figured I'd throw these out at the beginning. Hazmat, what game are you going to buy? COD Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, or Battlefield 1? Well, you kind of have to buy Infinite Warfare to get Modern Warfare <laughs> Remastered. Uh, so unfortunately, it looks like I might have to buy both of those games. But I'm not going to be playing Infinite Warfare at all, I don't think. I might play the zombies because the zombies kind of look interesting. But Modern Warfare Remastered all the way. Although, Battlefield 1, man, I've been playing the beta, and you guys let me know in the comments. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the beta? The map kind of sucks. Actually, the map sucks a lot. I'm not a huge fan of the map, but I'm liking the game. So, I'll be definitely playing Modern Warfare Remastered and Battlefield 1 when they come out in a few months. Marco, will you play Mafia 3 on live stream? I don't know. Would you guys be interested in that? Only I'm asking this only because Mafia is kind of like a GTA type of game where it's an open world sandbox game. And there's a bunch of violence and stuff, so I don't know. I mean, I, I probably will play it because it takes place in New Orleans, and that's obviously where I'm from. So that'd be cool just to see like the the area and the map and all that. But I don't know if I'm a live streamer. Let me know in the comments if I should. Austin, with the next one, are you excited for the biker DLC? Of course, man. Like honestly, I might be more excited for this one than like the CEO and the VIP and everything, just because this is something different. I hope. I mean. Bikers, a biker like gang, that's that's really awesome in my opinion. And hopefully Rockstar does some really cool stuff with it. Chupacabra, when do you think the next DLC is coming out? Now, I don't know, but the rumored speculation is September 20th, so maybe they'll announce it on or in two days on, in September or on September 7th when they're at the PlayStation meeting. Maybe they'll have their big game announcement and they might announce the DLC release date as well, but we'll have to wait and see. Next one, and I'm answering this one only because I've gotten it so many times. So Cameron, do you think the addition of the Bahama Mamas t-shirt is pointing towards the opening of the Bahama Mamas? Well, look, I th that might be a little bit of a stretch there, but it is kind of weird. Rockstar does this a lot. They like to tease people and tease us that play the game with, with shirts, with just wording in their newswire. So does this indicate it's opening? I mean, I just I don't know why it's not open. There's an interior fully made. It's you can walk in there like if you glitch in, but you the door is not open, so I don't know. Same goes for Tequila Lai. You can get in there, like and there's even an adversary mode in there, I believe, but you can't get in there in free room. So I don't know why they're they're not already open. But do I think it's opening in or I'll even go as far as saying in the next DLC because. One thing that I, I really hope we get is some sort of motorcycle club, like motorcycle gang area and and nightclubs and bars and stuff. They're perfect for that because that's kind of where bikers like to hang out. And I think it'd be really cool if, whether it is Bahama Mamas, Tequila La, some of the bars up in Sandy Shores and Palito Bay, if you could go there and maybe that's like your biker headquarters, like your biker gang house or something. I think that'd be really cool. And... And maybe the, maybe the shirt's an indication of it. I don't know. I feel like the shirt was just a shirt. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to say it has any correlation with it coming in the next DLC. But I do believe that there could be some sort of interior or new interiors with this biker DLC. Simply because it would just make sense in the theme of gangs or motorcycle gangs or motorcycle clubs. Let me know in the comment section what you think though. Next one from Broclaw. Do you think we are going to or we're ever going to get the Lost Slam Van in the upcoming biker DLC? Would be the perfect opportunity. Well, the Lost Slam Van and the uh, the Duke of Death, I think, would fit with the biker DLC. If we're going for cars that are already in the game, that's that's so easy for Rockstar. I mean, literally, they have to do no work. They can include it in like when they say, oh, 15 new vehicles coming. That's two of them right there. They literally don't need to do anything except for just add them into online. But I would like to see those because, one, the Lost Slam Van, it just makes sense in that update. And then the Duke of Death, man, why not? Like, it kind of fits with the biker theme, and it's not overpowered, so I, I hope we see those two cars. Uh, Michael, with the next one, do you think a bike DLC will live up to the hype? Now, this is sort of subjective, but I kind of think it will, at least if you go in with realistic expectations. Like, don't be expecting 
to do everything you've ever dreamed in this update and you'll be fine like that that's kind of what you gotta learn with rockstar dlcs don't expect too much and you'll be good and you won't be let down so i think it will for me at least dank toffin <laughs> do you think the attack helicopter will ever come to gta 5 you know that's like one of the only fan requested vehicle that isn't in gta 5 like the hydra eventually came the sultan arrest from gta 4 eventually came i mean they kind of put the savage in but it just it come on that's not the attack helicopter that's not the hind but do i think we'll ever get it dude i don't know man one day maybe in a military update and i guess that kind of ties in with uh, the next question from from chipmunks will there ever be a jetpack at any point you know i guess that's technically a vehicle right so that's two vehicles they haven't added they haven't added the uh the attack helicopter and the jetpack so rockstar if you're listening to this just get on that man we want those freaking vehicles YouTube Greater Gamer, what is your opinion on the no or the new no tra no character transfer rule? I think this was bound to happen. I mean, it's the only way that they could really combat modded accounts, and it kind of sucks for people. But like, what? I mean, what did you expect? You think they're gonna they're just gonna let that let people have billions of dollars and not have any sort of consequence? Like, they're not banning people's accounts, so it's I don't know. Uh, up until they they can figure out maybe how to ban people's accounts or another way to deal with these modded accounts then i don't that's yeah this is what they're gonna do reaper why does it take so long for rockstar to make a dlc didn't they always make dlcs every two or three months before well aren't they kind of doing that now i mean i think we've had a dlc every month because august 2nd was the stunt creator i'll i'll technically count that as a dlc so i mean if they release it in september then that, that's three months or four months in a row, I think, right? And then even going back to the lowrider stuff, I think that's, I mean, that's technically DLC. So, the, here's the thing. Why does it take so long? You got to remember this, right? And even though some of them have kind of, have a lot of problems and they're not like 100% perfect, when they make DLCs, they're kind of like, for the most part, they're, they're something new. I mean, I guess reusing VIP for CEO stuff and then lowriders a couple of times... But for the most part, it's it's new stuff, like the stunt races and all that. No one ever thought we would get that. that that's something completely new. The biker stuff, hopefully that's something completely new. So they're coming up with this stuff, and the fact that they are coming out with them every month or two months, that's pretty impressive in my book. So you got to think about that when, when it comes to DLCs. But Adam, why does everyone always go back to GTIF? Other games come out. Why do you think? Just because those other games aren't good. You know, I saw something the other day quickly, and I'll say this um, so this video is not too long. But most of these games that come out nowadays, they're they're just they're all flash and no substance. Like I mean, No Man's Sky, perfect example. Uh, but all the other AAA games, like these companies, they make them, they make them on a yearly basis. So they don't care if you play them for a long period of time. They just want you to buy the game, pay sixty dollars, and then in a year get hyped for another new game that's you know not changed much, and then pay sixty dollars again. And I think that's the problem because GTA. It obviously doesn't have that. The GTA games come out every, what, like eight years <laughs> now, it seems. Um, but I think that's why. There's just, there hasn't been a game to knock GTA off the top. And then I guess that ties in with these next two questions from Moth. Why is GTA still alive? And then Crayon, do you think that GTA 5 is slowly coming to an end? Man, GTA 5 has been slowly coming to an end for like eight years now. Uh, it, I, I swear, I see that so many times. GTA is not coming to an end. People are still playing it. They're still releasing DLCs. No other game is good enough to to get people to like truly go or, or stop playing GTA. People eventually come back. So no, GTA is not going to an end. And why is it still alive? Because no, the game has knocked it off. So that is it with the Q&A. Thank you all for watching again. Hope you have a great Labor Day weekend or Labor Day, Labor Day day. If that makes any sense, whatever. See you all in the next one. Drop a like, subscribe. As always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.